Welcome to Movie Phones Unscripted. I'm here with director, writer, Tom DeCillo, and I will be asking him questions, and I believe you'll be asking I'll, me questions. If I can think of anything, do you consider yourself uh, a comedian? <laughs> I, I consider myself a comedian. <laughs> I go, I don't Seriously, like to make do you? it. Well, I mean, I, I think I'm, I'm a comedian. I'm not like a stand-up comic, but I think I'm actually more a comedic actress but than... But comedian so. is like actually a classic word. Like, like well, um, You have to define comedian. Okay, who was one? I think Jean Harlow was a comedian. Yes. Right? Talented, dramatic actors or actresses, mm -hmm. if, you, if you prefer, that had the ability to be amazingly funny. Then I guess I, I think I do enjoy doing that. Mm -hmm. I think probably my greater strengths lie in being funny and doing comedy, which mm. for some reason, up until the last few years, no one really has ever let me do. Really? Or they, it's not like they've said, you can't do this, they just didn't cast me in those parts. Right, right. Okay, what was the impetus for you to write a film about the ridiculousness of the paparazzi and the Hollywood machine? The ridiculousness is, is, is not quite the right word. I, I wasn't interested in showing the ridiculousness. What I was interested in actually doing was showing the humanity, if it's yeah. at least possible. Uh, of a particular paparazzi, and I don't think that you can generalize and say mm -hmm. this is what all paparazzi are. I, I made a very specific choice here with this one particular guy, mm -hmm. played by Steve, to try to get into his mind and his, his, his life and to get a sense of why does he live the way he lives. So frequently all we see when we hear about paparazzi is this extremely negative and vile, repulsive, uh, you know, portrayal of them. Mm -hmm. and, and, t and to some degree, I think we all would probably agree that some of that is true. Yeah. Uh, but I was, I was more interested in, in examining uh, how a homeless kid, played by Michael Pitt, mm -hmm. could, could stumble into celebrity through, through the lowest rungs of, yeah. of, of the celebrity. And, and to see what would happen if this homeless kid and this crazy paparazzi you know, formed a relationship together. Here's a question. People would argue that the paparazzi and gossip tabloids are all part of the package of being a celebrity. What are your thoughts? I, I think, you know, paparazzi and gossip, I think it used to be used to enhance a celebrity and to kind of, you know, it wasn't about, it's become so trashy and so, like, let's find the worst part about them and exploit them. Mm -hmm. Why do they buy it? Why, why, what does the public see in that picture? I don't know if it makes people feel better about themselves. You know, it's like, ah, oh, see, they're screwed up too. And like, mm. it, it's kind of like the misery loves company sort of thing or this mm. fascination, you know. But do you think they still love and idolize the, the, the same star as well? You know, do you understand what I'm saying? Because that, that, that's where I, I really begin I to wonder. Yeah, I, well, you know, it does, it, I think it ultimately hurts people because it, once you start knowing there's so, the celebrity, once the celebrity becomes greater than the actor or actress, you can't see them the same in a movie. It's, they have to work that extra, you know, that, that much harder to, so you could soak in, you know, sink in. And you know when you're reading that shit, it's not true. You know what I mean? Really? I think people believe it. I, I absolutely do think people believe it. Well, once you have stuff written about you and you're looking and you're going, God, I've never even met that guy, you know it's not true. Oh, has Sundance changed since you first attended with Living in Oblivion in 1995? Listen, the bottom line is this. Independent film started out a certain way, almost the way th anything in this country started out that was, that was originally real and honest. It, it ultimately gets commercialized. Yes, it, gets, yeah. it gets, you know, taken over. And so independent film started out as a very real thing and then very quickly turned into this thing of that, 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 that could bring fame and celebrity to the director, which was a rarity. It's a very exciting place to be. Yeah. Uh, Sundance has been very supportive of me. It's a very important festival. Yeah. And I respect it. What other movie star would do what, what Redford is doing? Did you have a hangover last night? You know what? I, I drank. I don't I mean, I hang over this morning. That's right. This from morning, last night. Right. No, I just didn't sleep. Are you? How are you feeling? I'm, I'm all right. Literally, I was up all night. You know, you know, we had our, our we screened the film yesterday. That was just that was you really know, fun. The first time for me, really seeing the film with with an, uh, an English speaking audience. We we had shown it in Spain to San Sebastian. In San Sebastian, and right. you won the the writing. Best screenplay. Best screenplay. Best director. I mean, come on. And an award from the Catholic Church. Did I tell you this? No. Yes, I couldn't believe it. Now. I have no, please don't, nobody take offense to this out there in the world, but, but uh, I don't happen to be a, a, a institutionalized uh, religious person. 
You may be surprised at that. I'm shocked. So the Catholic Church gives me an award. I was so astonished by that that I, I found the people. I went up to them. It was a group of, of five people, an older woman, two older men, you know. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know, I'm just, I'm really thrilled that you, you gave me this award. Why did you give this film this award? And, and they said to me, and it blew my mind, we gave you this award because in it, in your film, this homeless kid, this kind of damaged homeless kid, reaches out and is able to heal somebody just by, just oh, by acknowledging nice. them. And I was astonished. That's I said, beautiful. It was. I was actually in tears when, when, when they said it to me. Thank you to Tom and to Movie Phone and all of you who are calling up and asking questions. Um, go see Delirious. It's really great. It really is. Even if I weren't in it, I would go see it. Actually, I don't sometimes see movies I'm in, but I really enjoyed seeing this. Good talking to you, Gina. Good talking to you, too, Tom.